how do you start and manage your own esports team? Well, a lot of people actually want to do that, but most never will. And the reason that they don't is because they don't know how to get started. They don't know, you know, the, the mysterious, unclear path to starting the team and managing it. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to figure out what it takes to not only start the team, but manage it day to day. And so I recently had the very, very lucky opportunity to hang out with a professional esports team here in Bangkok, Thailand. And I talked to their manager, Nick, to try and uncover some of these mysteries. So in this conversation, we talk about everything from, you know, the funding and financing side of it to, you know, finding players and managing them and their emotions on a day to day basis. So if you have any aspiration to start your own team or manage a team, I hope you learn a ton from this conversation and I hope it inspires you to get started. I guess my first question is like, why did you want to start a team in the first place? What was your motivation? Actually. In PUBG Mobile tournament, there's like not as much as like the girl and the guy is like different. The guy is here and like the girl is here. So we wanted to make like equal, you know. So like tournament from the guy is like so many tournaments, but from the girl, it's like little less than like yeah. And the money price, the price pool and everything, it's just not as much as man. So at first we like make a tournament. Yeah, and we gathered that uh, we like the prize pool is like the highest pipe pool ever for the girl team. Yeah, and then at that thing after that we get like so many girls, and then we gather them all into like the team and make like one team, big team with like so many players from different team and like something like that, and we gather them into one team, one single team. Yeah. My next question is like kind of like the the how to start a team kind of question like what are like the first steps you had to take to actually start the team actually the first step is like looking for a player right looking for a player and then uh, make a contract with them like talk with them first are they okay with this and that. so how many players did you did you do like tryouts for them yeah yeah how many players did you like invite to try out it's like there's one 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 position that we need right? and then we try out for four players yeah. that not work at all yeah. because like some players have like listen like to join that another team but some players just like bullshitting us <laughs> and like whatever right yeah but like yeah so in the end we just got this team where do you find the players to try out They're actually in game right in game like uh like tournament and like practice like scream and everything like that yeah. and then we kind of make this tournament like international but like we're looking for Thai, Thai lady then yeah that tournament called LGLC and then uh, we found like so many good Thai, uh, Thai lady that they're playing so good like some even equal to men but like the, the, the price pool that they get is like so low right so we like uh, bring them in and try out with them and like yeah, everything went good. So first step is like looking for players. Second one is talk with them that they like agree with us or not. They want to build a team and like make the world know you or not. Yeah. And the third step is let it roll. We go tournament and like do our best. So yeah, I guess like my next questions are around like, I guess like funding and expenses. Like what are like some of the like big expenses that someone would have to think about if they want to start their own team? It's, it's, it depends though. like if like that team want to be serious and like have the cam house and like everything like that like it's up to like their budget to uh, you know uh, like if they have like a lot of budget I think that would like make like something like this or like even better or something but yeah you can build a team with like small budget just like supporting them by like uh, legis legislation free and something like that like yeah just uh, the owner of the team can like spot them by paying them like li little salary like and like giving them like small amount of money like after they have been tournament yeah, yeah that would be fine by like starting from small point but after, like, after a while after you get like a big thing you want to give them like something else more like but like the biggest expense i think 
when you move into a camp house, right? When you move into a camp house, you like lend a, lend a camp house yourself. It's like a lot. It's like hundred thousand something like that. Right. And then you guys pay for like food and stuff like that. And... Yeah. We yeah, are actually like we have the maid, right? For the camp house, for the whole camp house, for like laundry and like for cooking. Like the the player will have like exact time that like the maid will cook at 10 and 5 p.m. right? So the player can go down and eat. Everyone needs to go down and eat and they talk and like having fun chat and something like that. Uh, it's like if you want to start from small budget, you can. And if like you want to support them and like win big tournament and whatever, you can support to as like high amount of money. Do you guys have to, I imagine like not, not because of COVID, but like outside of COVID existing, do you guys have to like travel for a lot of tournaments? So like if there is no COVID, normally we would have like uh, two type of tournament. First is like uh, offline and second is like online. Right? In this situation, in COVID situation, mostly it's online. We can uh, competition in our house, our camp house or whatever. But like if there are no COVID, there's offline. And normally, there will be like travel. Like, yeah, actually, like the the stadium that they do for PUBG Mobile is not so far from the camp house too. Oh. Yeah, that's called like two digital park, and like it's not so far from here. Yeah. Cool. And like, actually, the like big, big, big tournament for the lady is called PMPL, right? Like uh, the. Southeast Asia tournament something. That one actually we have to go to like Jakarta in Indonesia to like compete in that. Yeah. Cool. If there's no COVID. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair, fair. Oh yeah, I was I was curious about like um, if someone starts a team, uh, obviously like I think you guys understand that like you need to have contracts for players, and I think most people don't understand that. So my question was just kind of like for someone who doesn't understand why they should have contracts once they find players like what is the value of finding it of using contracts and like what is the fear of like if you don't use a contract what could happen it's the most important thing that, that you wanted to do first when you like get a team lady build a team and like have all your players already first thing to do is have a contract for sure right because in that contract you can have like anything that you want like to be a strict player to not using abusing some substance, to like uh, uh, loyalty with us, to like respecting us, respect us, and something like that. Yeah, because like if they be with us, you know, and they're talking with another team with us, without contact we cannot do anything. But with contact we keep them. If they break it, they have to pay like some money, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like that's the most important part. If like they're talking with another team and like why staying with us or like they didn't even respect us, they're talking shit behind us yeah. or like uh, they're using abusing substance and we know, but without contract we cannot say anything. Or we can, but like are they gonna listen? What are they gonna listen to us without contract? Right. That's the most important part of e-sport thing. You should have that like, contract with your player. Yeah, and they will respect you and uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I want to ask about like sponsors. Like, what is um, what is your process for trying to work with and like get sponsorships? Normally, the the sponsor they would contract us and like if like we win like big tournament, our name will like spread. And, like we're gonna go bigger, right? And normally, like the sponsor, if they want to sponsor us and like they get bigger with us, they can like contract us and like invite us to join them and something like that. The other question I had was like around like kind of like marketing for the team. Like I think getting fans is probably a big deal, especially if you want to have better sponsors. So uh, the first question is just like how important is it to kind of like market your team and use social media? Like why is that stuff important? The the marketing that we're gonna use for eSport thing is like mostly it's gonna be social media, right? It's gonna be good for us, good for the player, and good for the team, and also good for sponsor. Three different. Good for the player. Player will like famous, getting famous, like a lot of followers. It's better for them too. It's like good for them. Like they gain followers for free, yeah. right? And in the future, after like the contract end or whatever, they can do whatever they want with that follower or something. Second, 
for the team also the team like uh, after the the player gain more forward the team will like also be known you know yeah, yeah the team will be known and, like other player want to join us or like sponsor want to join with us and something like that and third thing is like if like we getting famous the sponsor of course they want to join us and also if like we getting famous more and more the sponsor also getting famous too you know um, and then I guess the, the follow-up question to that is just like um, if some if there's like a team that's just starting out and they're like just starting to like they like want to get fans they want to get followers like what kind of social media should they use or what kind of like things should they do to try and build an audience if you wanna if you like a small team and like want to get famous it's like it's up to fan base that you want like in here in Thailand they're like Fan, our fan base, they like pay like mostly TikTok and like Facebook, so it would be good for them that we can like uh, get close with them by like using TikTok and like Facebook and posing like funny thing, funny video and like or maybe like yeah some content in TikTok and like something like that yeah it would be like gain like follower more and like in TikTok of course it's like social media right people will like come and look around for for sure and maybe new fans are coming for us even though like they're not like into the game but they're like into the player yeah that can happen too right and we will gain more forward by that and that's good I, this is definitely more of like a, a managerial kind of question like managing a team is can be kind of hard so my, my question and thing that I'm curious about is like how do you make sure the players stay like happy you know like how do you make sure that they're satisfied and enjoy being a part of the team Actually, in the contract, right, we say that uh, about a rule, we also say that please respect each other, not only like me and like her, the owner, right, but like respect the mate or even respect like yourself or like player too. They should respect everyone and like when they, when they are growing, they should talk it out in that day and don't pressure themselves to like hear it by themselves or like talking back behind us something like that if like if they're talking back behind us that means like it's not loyalty right and like to keep player happy yeah we have like computer free time for them to play games or like uh they can they can go anywhere you know but just like let me know as a manager i will like schedule every time like yeah something like that we, they have game they have game to play they have free time yeah as long as they're happy i'm happy too Hypothetically, if something bad happened to your team, there's drama, like what can you do to try and make it better? You know, like if they get mad or like if they fight and drama, okay? You need to be calm. You need to be super calm. Okay. And you need to be like, hey, stop it. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, it's serious. Like a guy and a girl is like different. If like a girl like have problem, we're gonna talk it out in one day, right? We're gonna blah 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 right? Yeah, that is done. The team, like the plan is done. I used to be like uh, some kind of pro player before, so yeah. Like we have that problem, we have like drama in team and fight, something like that. But we're gonna talk it out in one day. But if like the girl team, that's kind of different story. Because like the girl can like keep inside their mind and like they were like uh, overthinking and something like that so how to make them like uh, not accruing or not have any drama following like as I say you should be like careful with your word be calm and like uh, I mean tell them to like talk it out and think carefully what are you gonna say yeah right. and it's gonna be cool for them and cool for me too because like if they heating and using a uh, word or like fighting or like drama it's not gonna be good for them like if they're overthinking about like their teammate or like me or like the owner that's not gonna be good right yeah. so if you have any problem or anything we can solve it up at that moment yeah. at that time just speak it out yeah. if you're not okay with me if you're not okay with anyone yeah just speak it out at that time yeah? yeah it's gonna be good for them and everything too yeah i think that's definitely the best policy because i think a lot of like players will get mad and then they'll just be like oh like don't say anything, just like yeah. bottle it up, like keep yeah. it to yourself, but it's better to talk. Yeah, it's better to talk, so like they can like know what happened inside their mind, you know? I guess like one question, I kind of asked you before I started filming, which is like, what is the value of having like a gaming house rather than everyone living individually? Yeah, 
the gaming house and like normally like the small team they can like live like far from each other and something like that but like as like we become like professional and pro team we need some kind of this stuff that like okay they are pro player right so they need like it means like it's a job for them the pro player is like athlete right it's a job for them what they're gonna do in one one day of course like they need to wake up they need to like practice and practice and practice and like talk to each other in front like face to face not like hey i'm not okay with you this and that it's not okay right if like face to face we can see their eyes it means like yeah they eat together they drink together they talk together and they laugh together they cry together that, that's what we're doing like in the camp house we'll just make them like be more close and like so the following like after we uh, they get close the team chemistry is gonna go well they're not having drama they of course there might be some drama but like yeah if like the team chemistry go well yeah. the drama will like not that strong anymore they will trust each other and they will love each other yeah imagine like woke up and like seeing your friend and like it's gonna be good right yeah 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 that makes a lot of sense um uh if you were to pretend that having the dogs was a strategy uh what is the value of having dogs in your gaming house the the dog i mean <laughs> we, we we got like four dogs right yeah and it's like not only a dog but like i mean any esport player can have like their own pet yeah the pets can like calm you and like oh that's cute little thing something like that after you get mad you, you lose like, oh, and something like that and the, the, the cat or like the uh, the dog or cat just come around you and oh why is it so loud human and i, and I was like oh i'm sorry and just pick them up and like yeah it's just like for your mentor too yeah. after you get like hot-headed for like so many games you do so many games and you like, just see like your trustworthy <laughs> creature right there it's gonna you know, warm me down, something like that, yeah. This is, I guess, like more like personal question for you then, is like, what do you think is like the hardest part of managing a team? The hardest part is like, to be cool and like, keep calm and like, be professional. And following what my boss say, like, I'll be following her, what, what she want me to do, like, I, I will always follow it, you know what? And like, the hardest part is like, to keep myself calm and like not get lost in the anger or like not get lost in something like that if if they like a drama or like fighting a team i will be the, the one who stop it right so yeah i need i need to like control myself not to get lost in that anger or something right. that's like the hardest part but yeah i think i get used to it now what's your like favorite part about managing a team the favorite part is like seeing them win actually it's like when they talk, when they laugh, and like, I mean, me personally, I love like the atmosphere of like human being, <laughs> that's scary, right? but yeah, it's like the atmosphere of like uh, people who like playing game and like enjoying something, you know, yeah, yeah. it's like when they're enjoying or like when their like emotion is showing off, yeah. I mean, me as a manager, I like that, like, that means they enjoy something, yeah. if they're like anger, if they cry, if they laugh, that means we are doing good, right? I, I am doing good, right? Right. And then the the favorite part should be like when they win, they're gonna be yeah, it's easy. We beat them, something like that. This is easy. We can do this like how much time? Yeah. It, it was fun that watching them like that. Yeah. yeah. That's very fair. I imagine that's probably like really rewarding. Like you put in so much work with your team and you see them put in so much work and then seeing them like finally win, it's probably like... Yeah, it's like, it's worth it, you know? Like, yeah. it's not only me, it's like yeah. also the player and also the boss and like everything too. Everyone's gonna be happy when they win, right? Yeah. But yeah, i just happy that see like, yeah, they're, they're just being like so fun that, yeah, we can do this like all the time. It's easy for us, you know? Yeah. 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 I, I guess like if you had to like if someone's like trying to start their own team uh, What kind of advice would like you guys want to give to that person so that they're they're more successful or avoid any like Obstacles or issues that could come up. I mean any game that if you want to start your own team the best thing that I would advise is like Just go for it man. Just just do it. What if you want to do it? Just do it 
if you if you have uh, if you don't have budget to do it like high enough just little it down and just do it if you want to do it just do it like uh, learn from someone if like you want uh, you got a question just ask someone and they will answer yeah if like a guy want to do it just do it and like learn by it right yeah so i hope you guys learned a lot from this conversation i hope it inspired you in some sort of way to perhaps start your own team and if you did like this video then be sure to leave a comment down below let me know what the biggest takeaway is and make sure to support the video by liking it that's what kind of tells me if you guys want to see more interviews like this and of course also be sure to check out revenger esports they got a pretty amazing team and i hope to see them win another major tournament this year so be sure to follow them and support them on their journey and of course, if you guys like the video, make sure you're subscribed so I can see you in the next video. But until then, take care, keep on grinding, and keep on improving.